This video is very similar to the one I used for um, getting um, tilt and shift with the uh, focus using the photo program and uh, today I have found another one which is a shampoo photo commander 11 so we'll we'll go over to this one and we'll do, uh, set this on set this up and this is what it uh, what it basically looks like um, the, and, and this is uh, one of their programs and if the way to deal with um a shampoo is uh is, is download a trial and they usually give um after a few days they, they usually come up with these special offers and all this type of thing so the best thing to do is uh just wait and you can get these type of things for a few quid so this one here is uh going to be about using focus and getting dslr type blur as well um i've just actually getting this program myself um, I've used Photo Commander earlier versions previously but this is the one that um, has more features and so what we're going to do is we're going to take this car here which is a Renault Laguna Sport this was a, an old car of mine and we'll pour it up and this uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to go into uh, trying to get details and around something around here in this area here and we're going to put the rest of the uh, of, of the background in blur and we're going to actually blur out the reg plate also as well so what we do is we go to uh, something called quick fix which is up there uh, this this bit here and we'll just click that one on and we come to that actually does have a, a tilt and shift uh, tool there as well which is if you can see there but this is actually a little bit different to the way other um, graphics packages used and this actually has a focus effect tool which is this and this is what we're going to use so it's a little bit um, like a purely an aperture tool so what we'll do is we'll just come out of there and we'll click on that so the only problem uh, with this graphics package, um, Photo Commander 11, is it's slightly laggy. So um, if you can get over that, it's a really, really good tool to use. I, I use all sorts of um, uh, things like uh, Zona 15 is, is probably one of my best, and uh, occasionally Photoshop. Um, but anyway, we'll try and get this uh, in, into more focus. So what we do is we we just there you can sometimes say when you're making changes that it goes into the um, spinning circle thing that everybody absolutely hates so we're just getting this little portion of the car down here so I hope you can see this here this circle thing which is the the focus um, which basically mimics aperture so we'll just come out of there and what it is is that up here is the blur and this tells you how much blur you want at the moment it's about eight so i'm not sure if that's default because I've, I've played around with this a little bit so if we go to say something like um a little bit more say the, you see the uh, circle there as well going around now you can see significant blur and the clear uh, light there but if you look at the reg plate just there the x152 is clearer than the i think it's ddc if i remember rightly the reg plate on this car anyway we'll uh we'll do that so we'll just get that x in the beginning if we if we go back out you see that you can see the um x152 ddc but if you just play around with that a little bit there you see the the it's start, starting to take shape and that, that is a huge blur um, in the background if we check the background out all around there is huge blur and we find a cl much clearer picture in this one here so if we just move it there we've seen the light and we've just seen the x thing 
uh, as well, which is slightly in shape. So we just do that, and and there you see the clear a clear light, and if you those of you who've got good eyesight, you'll actually see the Renault quite clearly there as well. But um, all the background is is blurred, everything there, and the only thing is is uh, is the light and a little portion of the car at the back there, and you'll be able to see part of the red plate of X. I hope you can see that X1, and it's starting to get blurred across the uh, the line of view there. So all you do is you you click yes if you if you like that, and and that's uh, what you can do. I'm only using this car as a um, as an example. You can use uh, all sorts of shots and and things like that, and it's uh, yeah it's a, it's a really quite a a good tool this on Ford Commander 11. I do recommend the program if you've never used it before. It's uh, quite a quite a nice program. So thanks for watching.